When you think about Australia, what comes to mind? Maybe it's the Sydney Opera House or koala bears, but there's so much more to the country than just that. Welcome to Geography with Drew Binsky. In today's episode, we're gonna dive deep into the land down under, known as Australia, from crazy stories to wacky facts. All right now, let's get into it. Geography with Drew Binsky. Did you know that Australia is the world's sixth largest country and is located in the Southern Hemisphere? The capital city is called Canberra, but the biggest and most famous city is Sydney. Australia is a country that is full of surprises. It has everything from deserts to rainforests and even beautiful beaches. That being said, most people live near the ocean, but if you travel far enough inland, you will find yourself in the outback wilderness with a lot of indigenous tribes. You may have heard of the Great Barrier Reef, which is located off the coast of Australia, and it's the world's largest coral reef system, home to thousands of different types of fish and other marine life. Australia is also known for its unique animals, such as kangaroos, koalas, and platypuses, which can only be found in this country. The official language of Australia is English. However, you might also hear people speaking Mandarin, Italian, or other languages because it's a melting pot of cultures. Of course, English is the most widely spoken language in Australia, but there are many dialects and accents. Australia's flag has three elements, the Union Jack, the Commonwealth Star, and the Southern Cross. The Union Jack represents Australia's history as a British colony. The Commonwealth Star represents the Federation of the Colonies of Australia in 1901, and the Southern Cross represents Australia's geographical location, which is so remote that it's far removed from any other countries. The currency of Australia is called the Australian Dollar, not to be confused with the US dollar, but it's also used in some Pacific Island countries and other parts of Asia, kind of like how the US dollar is used in some Caribbean countries. Australian cuisine is very diverse and delicious. The country is best known for its barbecue, where they cook different types of meats, such as lamb, beef, pork, and sometimes even kangaroo. Another traditional dish in Australia is called the meat pie, which is a pastry filled with meat, vegetables, and gravy. Australia is also famous for its seafood, especially the Tasmanian salmon, and its unique fruits such as the Australian macadamia nuts and the kiwi fruit. All right, now it's time to dive into some fun facts. Number one, Australia is the only country that is also a continent, although some people might argue that it's called Oceania. Number two, Australia is home to the world's deadliest animals, including the box jellyfish, the saltwater crocodile, and the funnel web spider. There's also plenty of venomous snakes, so be careful if you go hiking. Number three, when you think of a huge border, you probably think of the Great Wall of China, right? Well, believe it or not, the world's longest fence is actually located in Australia. At over 3,000 miles long, the dingo fence helped keep dogs away from local sheep. That fence is almost the distance from LA to New York. Number four, like the British, Australians have their own slang that is different from American English. The word Bobby means barbecue, Dunny means toilet, tea means dinner, and Macca's is McDonald's. All right, now is the moment you've all been waiting for, story time. I want to talk about my trip to Melbourne because I went skydiving. It's actually the first and only time that I've been skydiving and it was absolutely incredible. I went in this place called the Yarra Valley, which is this whole region for wine and wildlife and all these stunning views. And I went into a plane with Deanna back when I first met her like seven years ago. We first had to sign a waiver saying if we crash or we die, they're not held liable. And then we got in a small plane and we went up, up, up above the clouds. And on this specific day, there was a lot of really deep, dark and thick clouds, like rain clouds. So I was really worried that we were gonna have a lot of bumps going up there. And we did, we finally got above the clouds and I was strapped into an instructor and it was really scary. He basically went three, two, one, and then I dived out of the plane and it was just so surreal. Like my eyes went in the back of my head and I just remember thinking, oh my God, this is, I, can, I can't even see straight. Like what is going on right now? And the free fall was like a minute and a half. That means one minute and a half of time, complete free falling without pulling the parachute. I almost blacked out. Like I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what to think or what to see. 
And finally, we pulled the parachute and I was floating down, looking at the beautiful scenery around me. It's a moment that I'll never forget. I think about it all the time and it's really something I want to do again. If you're watching this and you're not 18 yet, you can go skydiving legally when you turn 18 and it's just an absolutely amazing experience. But be careful, make sure you go with a guide or somebody who knows what they're doing and it's just a, an experience that I will never forget. I hope you get the chance to go to Australia and witness all of its glory. So thank you for watching this episode of Geography with Drubinsky and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.